Hey yo, what up CNC team? Welcome back to another video. If you're new to our channel, make sure that you join the team and subscribe down below. And if you're already part of the team, well, welcome back. So as you can read by the title, um, today's video is just about um, like you guys coming along for me as I start my small business. Um, so the business that I've created um, is just a small Instagram business um, where I create gift boxes and graze boxes but yeah this is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time um, and then last week I just decided out of nowhere you know what, I'm just gonna do it and then here I am <laughs> I've got my logo I've got my Instagram page up um, promoted it and now we're going to be working on sample boxes today um, so that people get a feel of what I'm going to be offering because you can't just start a business and not have people know what your items are going to look like. Yeah, this is going to be my first time putting these boxes together so you guys are going to you know, get the feel with me. So um, let's just get started. Okay guys, so for my first um, sample box that I'm going to be putting out, I've themed it a winter theme or like, you know, essentials you need for winter. So I'm going to call it the winter package. So I'm going to use this box. Um, it's, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a cloth material kind of thing, which is perfect for my winter theme. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> and I also have um, decals. I don't know if that's how you say it, but it's basically just names that you stick and personalize on items. So I've got those for this package. Bring all that. And I actually don't know how to put these on. <laughs> like these are instructions, so I want to be. Um, everything is for the first time with you guys. And I hope these go well. Okay, so I have my items here that I'm featuring in the winter package. So I have a scarf, of course, a candle, toasted vanilla candle. Mm, smells nice. It's very like wintry. I have these two little glass tubes, and I'll tell you guys what I want to do with these soon. So guys, we're just on a break as um, Carlos just walked in. <laughs> um, and then I have this mug that we're gonna put a name on here. Some of these, I did I say it, Raffaello? It's like the white chocolate Ferrero because I want it to represent like snow because it's winter theme. And then Tim Tams because you guys have Tim Tams with like the hot chocolates and coffee and stuff. <laughs> Get out! Okay guys, so I have some shredded paper to add as filling to the gift box. But I think I'll work around with the scarf because this is the biggest item in here. I'll show you guys like you know here and there what I am doing. <laughs> Maybe this can go like <laughs> Okay guys, so I've figured out what I've started with. So I've put the scarf here at the top and then put some shirt of paper over here. Next, okay, so I can work around with this candle here. Where the candle can go. So the mug is the next thing that I have to put on. Uh, the next big item that I can put in. But I have a name that needs to go on it. So I'm just going to practice off camera. <laughs> and then I'll come back to you guys when I'm ready to put it on that. Okay guys, so this is what I'm going to do. Get started with this. Oh, I just don't want to get this wrong. So it kind of my thing. Because we'll focus on this. Okay, so I now have to just separate the paper. Ugh, no, it's not ready. There's still a bit of um, paper that's... There's still a bit of lettering that's sticking to the other paper. Oh, yes. Okay, guys. So we have the name off. Oh, this way. So now all I have to do is just put it onto the item and then do the same thing that I was just doing before with the card and like smoothing it out. Oh my gosh, it's so scary. Okay, let me just. Guys, I think I just stopped it off. There's an air bubble inside the thing. Oh. 
Okay, that's okay, guys. That's okay. There we go. I did it. <laughs> okay, I'm very happy. It's not perfect, but it's okay for a first timer. Wow, I can't believe I did it. I think it's a bit crooked. <laughs> you know, these are sample boxes, but it's, yeah, I like it. Okay, guys, so while I sort this out, let me just talk to you guys. So I've had this business idea in my head for a while now. Um, but I've always just, just not done it. Like, you know, you, it's easy to say, to say you're going to do something and then it's another to actually do it. So that was my challenge. Sorry guys, wait. I'm not happy with how this is doing. Okay, oh yeah, anyways guys. Yeah, so last week, I was, I keep telling Carlos, so I was just like, I really want to do a good boxing business. I think I should do it. But then another side of my head will be like, no, don't do it. It's not going to work out. And then, you know, I just keep arguing with myself. Like, should I just do it? Because there are a few um, Instagram businesses that are out there that also do gift boxing have been in the game for a long time. So that's why I was just like, mm. but the thing is that they're all based far away. Or oh, the ones I know, they're like based out in West Auckland, Henderson like Tiara 2 all that all those places and I'm from South Auckland so um, it's a bit of a distance to go you know that far because we went out to Henderson yesterday to collect um, the names and it took us like just over half an hour and that's not a trip I want to keep doing just realizing that there's like a lack of businesses like this in um, South Auckland made me like oh maybe I should should do it you know, for those people that are out south and don't want to go that far okay guys so up to this I told you that I had these two little tubes so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill it up with hot chocolate then sprinkles and then marshmallows and it'll be like just mini hot chocolate potions <laughs> that I'll put in here and yeah so that's what I'm gonna do now that I will most likely time lapse this because we don't want this video to be too long and I don't know if you're going to get bored or whatever. Um, and then we'll come back when I've got everything ready in the box. Okay guys, so my mission is to use this teaspoon and get it in without making a mess. Okay, I'll get the towel. Okay guys, so I put in just a tiny bit here, but I don't like how it's like made a mess there. Okay, I'm just gonna like go ahead with what I was doing and then figure out a way to clean it up. But you know what guys, I actually thoroughly enjoy um, enjoy this. I love to um, think of gifts. It's a bit wet inside this, so I had to dry it. I can just do that. I'm someone who, if it doesn't look the way I want it to be, then I won't put it out kind of thing. I'd say like a perfectionist in a way. <laughs> yeah, like if it's not looking, if everything's not perfect, then yeah. Like I'm still bugged about the mug, the name on the mug. Just because of the eye, because there was an air bubble there. So at least I know now for next time to make sure there's no air bubbles. Okay guys, so I think I did my best and this is enough for a cup of hot chocolate. Now all I need to do is add chocolate sprinkles and then cut up the marshmallow. Okay cool, so this is what it's looking like now. The sprinkles, I have to go like this. <laughs> the sprinkles and the hot chocolate. Okay guys, so I've cut up the marshmallows into half the size that it was. Now I'm just going to chuck it in here and then that should pull it all together. And I like this idea because it is definitely what winter is about. You have your hot chocolate, marshmallows, not everyone loves marshmallows but you know, that's the concept here. And then all you have to do is just 
tip everything out. <laughs> cool, so that's what it's looking like. We just do that thing. <laughs> yeah. And then I have the corkscrew arm um, caps and then I'll just chuck it in like that. And we are done. Okay, so I actually have cookies that I'm gonna also place in here as well as the Tim Tams. But these cookies, they have my business name on it, which is sold gift boxes and the purple. So that's my favorite color. So <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put two of these in here. Oh my gosh, I love these. Now the reason behind the name sold gift boxes, I actually don't have a specific reason why I chose that name. I was just playing around with different names and then I played I just know the name Soul. Soul is like along the same words as like bliss and delight and all those things that I think a good name would be for my business. Um, so I just added the D at the end. I was like soul. Oh, like tech, like kind of like soul, like S O L D, but you know, <laughs> great explanation, Courtney. But yeah, there's no special reason behind why I called it sold gift boxes. But yeah, I like I like the name and my logo, which I'll pop up somewhere here. Um, it's my favorite colors, which is purple and turquoise. So yeah, there's a meaning behind the colors. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with how it's turned out. Whew. Okay guys, so I finally got the name on the cover. It took it took a while, <laughs> but I'm so impressed with this. And guys, this is my first sample box that I've put together. So I'm going to show you guys. I'll just grab the camera. Okay guys, so this is what I've got in the box. So I've got the candle. Got my Raffaello's, the Tim Tams, the mug with the name, my two um, potions. <laughs> I got two Whitakas in here, and also my two customized um, cookies. And then we have the lid with the name. Although I have to put the mug down a bit lower so that the lid can fully fit. But I am very, very impressed with this. I'm so happy. Now I am just going to um, take some photos of them so I can get them ready to go on Instagram. And yeah, so I'll do that. Then I'll come back to you guys and we'll move on to the next thing that I'll be putting together with you. Okay guys, so from what you guys saw previously, I actually didn't end up recording the rest of that day because I was actually on a schedule. So filming and um, being my own cameraman because Carlos was gone so I had to like adjust the camera a lot of the times and I was going back and forth between camera work and actually doing the boxes so it was taking up a lot of time so I decided to just cut the filming for that day but at least you guys got to see a bit of how I um, began my boxes. It has been two weeks now since I have started um, my gift box business and it's been really good. I've been fully booked for the last two weeks. I'm fully booked this week. Um, I'm currently taking orders for next week and yeah I'm still getting messages in for people ordering gift boxes so it's actually taking off well. So yeah I can't remember everything that I did say while I was doing the boxes because like I said it has been two weeks since I filmed that first video but let me just sum it up for you guys so all I did was I decided out of the blue you know what I'll just go ahead and do this gift box business because I've been thinking about it for a long time thinking about it talking about it but not doing any action so then I put through the actions and got my logo came up with my business name um, got a logo design for me and from there I am just currently winging it like I have no specific plan in place I'm just going with the flow and seeing what not to do what to do what's working what's not working kind of thing uh, which is good so yeah over the past two weeks I'm um, doing this business I have learned a lot of things that I can adjust in terms of like cutting off my orders every Friday to give my suppliers and vendors enough time to get um, what I need done especially within like a short time frame and also because most of the vendors and suppliers that I am currently going through and ordering from they live um, quite a distance from me so 
um i'd say majority of them live half an hour away um they all live in west auckland i am based in south auckland so it's a lengthy ride and drive every weekend for the past few weeks but it's worth it in the end so yeah so i've learned to cut off all my orders on a certain day and let um all the customers know that i won't be taking any orders for this week so you can still place orders for the following week and that way i have a routine going um i've also learned to bulk buy a lot of things because a lot of customers are buying um like certain packages instead of me always going to the stores to get what i need for that one package it's easier for me to just bulk buy everything so i have everything here at home so when they do order i don't need to go out it doesn't take any time to go drive look around for it i know that i have everything here so that's something i've learned um also having a social media presence like always being active on your social media your instagram your facebook everything always upload photos of your boxes so people know or can see the consistency of the quality of your boxes and just interacting with your um, followers and building like a relationship with them so they can just kind of like making new friends with everyone that's yeah that's how i can explain that part <laughs> Um, one thing I still need to work on is time management because I do work uh, full time and I am studying full time so balancing everything together it's something I still need to work on because I actually have an essay due tomorrow and I have not started on it so yeah I still need to work on time management <laughs> but for the most part um, at least I'm getting everything done not in the best way and not in the best timing but I'm getting things done and that's all that matters for me right now and I'll work on my time management as the weeks go and I get used to everything so yeah that's all I have to say well, it was just a bit of an update because I did not um, record any more after that last segment um, but yeah if you have any questions then you can just comment below or message me on our social media which you'll see in the description box below but yeah that is it from me i hope you guys are having a great day great night whatever time it is wherever you are um, and like we always say in our videos make sure you hit the like button hit the subscribe button and join the cnc team and we'll see you in the next video peace